In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a particular aspect of the database, which you'll find very, very helpful in planning your clients' uh, training regimes. And it's called periodization planning. Now, before we actually get into it, you need to understand what a periodization plan is. I'm going to open up a particular client, so we'll view all clients. Uh, we'll just unfilter that. Now, the particular client that we're going to look at uh, is Robert Ray. And if we come across to the periodization plans tab, we'll click on this tab, and then we'll just open a new periodization plan. So here we have a blank one. Now, before we actually fill in this form, let's have a bit of a discussion on exactly what a periodization plan is. Um, a plan, a periodization plan overall is the plan that you're going to take uh, on a rather large scale to achieve a particular goal. So if we make up a specific goal here, and this isn't just a, um, a short-term goal, this goal is actually uh, for about the next four months. So we're going to enter the goal in here, which is uh, to lose 15 kilograms by Christmas 2011. So that's the overall goal. And if you have a look at the date, you'll see here that it's actually only the 4th of September. So we've got September, October, November, December. We've actually got four months to achieve this goal. So what exactly are we going to do for those first for those four months? Well, each month can be broken down into a macro cycle. Uh, and then each macro cycle can be broken down into a micro cycle. So what we're going to do is plan out this person's training regime for the next four months. It's going to be very broad, uh, so let's go ahead and, and plan his training, his eating, his sleeping, uh, and anything else that he needs to do. So for this month, it's going to, obviously it's September, and we're going to give the, the name of the strength phase. Now you can name your macro cycle anything you want. Uh, I've just chosen strength phase because we've actually already started this guy's programs. So, so the macro cycle is called the strength phase. And if you come down to the next portion of this form, you can see here that there are different types of goals that you can have for a specific macro cycle period. So if we just have a look on the drop-down list, uh, a resistance-based goal could be that we want to do four to five strength training sessions per week. Um, a recovery goal could be something along the lines of one to two recovery sessions per week. Um, a nutritional goal could be something as simple as record everything you eat for seven days. And then we might have a sleep patterns goal, which could be anything from uh, document your quality and quantity of sleep for seven days. So those are the goals for the macro cycle for the month of September. Okay, so how many weeks are there in September? Well, there's one, two, three, four. So what is he going to do for the, for the four weeks of September? Let's just have a look. So week one, he's going to do weight training on a Monday, weight training on a Tuesday. He's going to do a recovery session on a Wednesday, weight training on a Thursday, weight training on a Friday, another recovery session on the Saturday, and Sunday he's going to have a day off. And we're going to repeat that cycle for the next four weeks. So we'll just go through and tick that all off. Resistance, 
resistance, recovery, resistance, resistance, recovery, day off. And we'll do that for week three. Resistance, resistance, recovery, resistance, resistance, recovery, day off. And the last week of the month, resistance, resistance, recovery, resistance, resistance, recovery, day off. So there we've got the next four weeks of training and the goal set out for this particular periodization plan. Now, if we save that, we can actually print a report now which can be given both to the client and can be placed in the client's folder so that we know both of us, both the trainer and the client, know exactly what the goals are for the next four weeks. So if we hit preview report, here you can see there's the overall goal of the whole plan. Here are the goals for the month of September and here are the individual sessions broken down. So all we need to do is print that. And that plan is ready to be commenced.